Well, hello. It's been a long time. So, uh, now we're playing KSP2. And, uh, current situation, this is my untested space shuttle thing. And, um, it's an untested space shuttle thing. Uh, it's an untested space shuttle thing. That's what it is. Its mission? Rescue the crew of my, um, one mission. Who, uh, have their parachute explode. Actually, I'm gonna... Hold on. Okay, so I have a sticky note, and I have a pencil, and what I'm going to be doing throughout this video is, um, every time a bug occurs, or occurred, that I mention, I'm going to add a tally mark to the sticky note. So, um, what was happening is, uh, I was docking my, um, I was docking the landing module with the command module in orbit on my MUN mission, and then, um, go away, and then, um, uh, the docking ports didn't align properly, and then when I undocked, the docking ports exploded, and the parachutes also exploded. Which counter one. And, uh, now I'm trying to rendezvous with it with the space shuttle. Except, um, thing is, um, slight problem is that, uh, my space shuttle doesn't have an orbit. Try quick saving, quick loading. Um, well, uh, after quick saving and quick loading, yeah, we still don't have an orbit. Bug counter two. So, um, when I go to the, when I switch to the, um, the stranded spacecraft, where is it? There it is. Um, when I switch to it, um, everything is fine and normal. It's kind of out of fuel and um, has exploded parachute and docking port, but at least there aren't any bugs. Until I switch back to my space shuttle. Where's the space shuttle? And then when I switch back to my space shuttle... Hmm... My orbital velocity is suddenly 200 meters per second. And my surface velocity is that. And, uh, if I time accelerate... Whee! get the idea. Bug counter three. So yeah, um, lots of bugs. Uh, three bugs so far. <laughs> three bugs for now. So, um, now we have to, uh, rendezvous with, uh, the white line, that spacecraft, and by the way, um, it doesn't show me ascending and descending because my orbit doesn't render. I've tried unsetting and resetting the target, it does not work. So 
but we're gonna point normal. Uh, give it a minute. I know, this is a peak gaming. Uh, as you can tell, we have a 17 FPS. It's a, a lot of fun. Look, I've been playing KSP2 uh, quite a bit with these horrible FPS rates, as you can tell from the spacecraft and stages around. Whoa, 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 why are you picking up? You're meant to pick side, but you're meant to not hit. Turn. Apparently I didn't set up the RC properly. And the RCS that it stabilizes is not balanced with the RCS that or the RCS that turns one way is not balanced with the RCS that turns the other way. Okay, so, uh, we're pointing roughly normal. And now we're just gonna guess how long we have to burn the engine when we wait for invisible, um, ascending slash descending mode, I don't really know. Wait, am I pointing the wrong direction? No, I am not pointing. I'll throttle up to, up to like 50% because if I go any further, um, it kind of uh, just flips out of control. And it already is flipping out of control. So I'll turn on the reaction control system so I can extra flip out of control. Now let's see how much our orbit changed. Uh, hold on. Why are we going the other direction? Oh, I know what I did wrong. When you point north... Wait, does that even make any sense? When I point north, I cross north, I go north. And also time warp is damning. <sighs> you can't do fizz warp in space at all. Not even when you hold alt. So I have nothing to say for a while like you know what, um, actually, I technically can do this, so I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm gonna parts manager. Yeah. Yeah. Activate.
wonderful. I don't know what I'm clicking. There's the only one of the vector engines. There's the carrier and the vector one. There's the terrier, there's the top vector. Oh, there was just a button there that let me turn the ball on. I Been in the correct position already. Been faster. Ah, uh, this isn't working. We're now even more off course. You know, it almost would just be easier if I went over to my space station. Which is, for some reason, filled up with a bunch of people. For some reason. For some reason, it has a bunch of people in it. But that's a problem for different me to solve. Um, actually, uh, who's gonna be flying it then? Um, Uh... The space station will fly itself. What? Eh? You're overloading my video, Valentina Kerman. What do you mean my tanks are empty? It's not empty. Okay. Okay. The encoder is overloaded, and I still don't know how to fix that. So if I start the engine, what happens? Oh, the cross limiter, okay. Um, okay, um, we're looking
looking for um I think that crashed. Now we have a descending. Um Pymorph. Uh, um, so it's anti -long. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video. Probably like something or other versus uh, KSP2 bugs. Okay. Anyways, plane change maneuver. Um. I don't have a lot of stuff to do with this, so I need to be careful. Because I want to push this back to a normal. And also, the space station just keeps filling up with turbos for some reason. But they're gonna stay behind. Because uh, they can handle. We'll send another space shuttle that hopefully won't bug out this time. Maybe the station will rendezvous with the shuttle. Okay, so now I have to point the other direction to change it. Um, time work to there. Enable the reaction control system. That's not, that's probably a bad idea. We have very limited, we don't have very limited RCS fuel. We have nine tons of, of RCS, but we will probably need every last drop to, uh, to get back into a regular orbit. So, now, plane change complete. F5. Um, so, uh, if I control from here, uh, are you going to destroy the space station? and uh, send it floating down. No, its altitude is changing, but what did not happen. Okay, so, um, attempt, uh, two, yeah. Um, I don't care that I don't have any fuel. Oh, that's, it's maybe not telling me anything because, uh, I haven't set the space station as a target. Maybe that Okay. 
Okay, how many times do I have to warp it? To change them. One or no 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 no. How do I I don't know how to do this. I don't know why it won't tell me anything either. Um. Let's just ignore the fact that our space shuttle is. Uh, when I encountered this glitch uh, all the times earlier, uh, it didn't fall until I switched to it, which is happening here. So, uh, I guess we'll wait and work it. I mean, we do have a lot of mono propellant, so, uh, I'll get back to you when I have a better idea of what I'm doing. Okay, uh, something's going on, because, um, I am on, on an orbit that is putting the spacecraft closer to the space station every orbit, and the orbital planes are the same. So, um... It'll be a while of time warping, but I think this can work. Okay, we're almost at the encounter. <gasps> oh. Um. Hmm. Distance from I to Okay. Okay. Intercept marker. That made sense. Point per grade. How long does it take for a command module to point per grade? Lots of time, apparently. I'm pressing H! Why is my parry apps going down? Oh, maybe that's because... It's... Pointing retrograde? This isn't making a lot of sense. Um, oh, I'm, I'm recording, okay, uh, commentary, oh, time warp is, uh, suddenly faster, okay, um, hopefully we'll approach this orbit, um, How long does it take for the devs to just implement the old time warp thing? Shouldn't be too hard. I don't think the physics engine changed. Hmm. 
Okay. Here comes the really opposite of fun part. Where, um... Now I have to... Do annoying things. That are annoying and hard to do. Also known as, um... Circularize my orbit with just RCS thrusters. Oh, yeah, point that direction. I didn't say start turning a bunch for no reason. Okay, um, I guess we'll sit here while holding the H button and watching a number go up. And, uh, keeping- I- I'm guessing that the RCS is, like, not aligning well is because of, like, maybe it needs the RCS to- Hmm. You know, that gives me an idea. What if I can disa- It won't let me disable individual ports, though. Okay, I think I might have something, but it says my encounter is in a negative amount of time. Maybe, um, clear target? Set target. Um, do the reaction wheels exist? Hello? Oh, now it works for some reason. And we're still getting 16 whole FPS. That's fun. Oh, I accidentally pressed the M. Okay. And now we wait. Um, uh, as I was saying, um, now when I push the button both directions, it says my encoder is overloading. Great. Okay, I have encounter now. Don't move. Don't move. Don't crash the recording. Don't do that either. That would be very bad. <laughs> 